Hello beautiful internet family, Dan here from DanceTube.tv and if you're new to the channel then you can expect brutally honest tech reviews on the channel and on today's episode we have our first impressions, when I say we I mean me, it's DanceTube first impressions of the ASUS ZenBook Duo now I will have a full review on this unit very soon but this is the beautiful laptop here it has the dual display, it's 1080p, 8 gigs of RAM, it has an i5 processor, plus it has a few other knickknacks in here that I'll get into fully when I actually do my review. But in today's video, I kind of wanted to give you guys my first impressions. I wanted to run through what kinds of things I've actually used the laptop for. I kind of wanted to talk about how useful it is to actually have a touch bar down the bottom here. It's like having one and a half displays almost. You also have this little cramped up trackpad in the corner here and then the keyboard off to one side. So I wanted to discuss my experience having a bit of a different layout with the trackpad and the keyboard. So this is the ZenBook Duo here from ASUS. It's a very pretty laptop. They've done a fantastic job. It just looks gorgeous, but it picks up every single fingerprint imaginable. It is a fingerprint magnet. So that's something to be mindful of with this glossy design here. There are a few different versions of the ZenBook Duo, so I will actually have links in the description below to check out their website and the Amazon listing. So see what they actually have available. There's probably something out there that will fit all of your needs. And in my full review, I'll break down this particular unit that I have here. One design choice that I really appreciated about the ZenBook Duo is as you lift up the lid, you'll notice it actually creates a stand right along the base here. So you'll see that it actually uses the whole display with this tiny little stand down the bottom to prop up the entire laptop. So that was something I actually really appreciated. You'll notice there's a tiny little gap under here, so that means that it obviously gets better airflow. It also means that when it's on your lap, it's not burning the absolute crap out of your legs, which is a very common thing with a laptop. So this actually props it up enough. So it works as a stand, it works really well on a table, but it also works fantastically on your lap. The other thing to mention is the actual design of the keyboard and the trackpad. So if you're left-handed, I don't know how you're going to use the trackpad because it's off to the right-hand side. It's not in the middle like conventional laptops. So you're probably going to want to buy yourself an additional mouse. Uh, when it comes to the keyboard itself, it was fine for the most part. I got used to it pretty quickly. But I did find that it was a little bit cramped because of the fact that they've made that room for that trackpad off to the right-hand side. So yes, I got used to it, it was fine. And for me, being right-handed, it was pretty, pretty easy to get used to. But I did find occasionally my right hand would get a little bit cramped using that tiny little trackpad. And then the keyboard was kind of cramped off to one side as well. It wasn't an issue, I definitely got used to it pretty quickly. But they were kind of just my first early impressions, the first week or so of actually using the laptop because I wasn't used to something designed to this manner. The main thing is this massive touch display here. Having half a display, is that useful? A lot of people have commented and asked me like, what would you even use that for? How is that useful? For pretty much any use, it's useful. I don't see how people would complain about that. Like for me, I use a dual monitor setup for my desktop computer. So to be able to have one and a half displays, it's just so much easier to navigate things. I can have my notes on the bottom display. I can then have my proper editing suite on top and I can read my notes as I'm you know, recording into a microphone, for example. Or if I'm doing my assignments, I can have research down the bottom and then my Word document on top. If you're creating a presentation, you can have the PowerPoint, you can have a Word document, you could have some information below. I don't see why people wouldn't want this. It's one and a half displays. Why would you not want the additional screen real estate? It gives you the opportunity to really do whatever you want. Even just for the everyday user who's browsing the internet, it gives you the opportunity to have Facebook down the bottom and then you can have a website on top. So you could be browsing things. You could also have a YouTube video on top and then you can have your Facebook feed, your Twitter feed. You could have an article you're reading. You could check out Dan's Tube if you wanted. You could have my website down the bottom, whatever you want. It gives you the opportunity to have dual displays. The functionality of this unit here 
actually became really easy. I, I noticed myself becoming really efficient on the actual laptop itself. Uh, it also has a backlit keyboard display. It's quite a powerful laptop as well, so I've played games on it. Um, I can edit pretty easily on it as well. So overall, like, for my first impressions, for my early tests with the ZenBook Duo, I've been really happy with it. The only thing that kind of became a little bit of an annoyance early on was my hand was cramping a little bit using the little um, trackpad and then the keyboard was a little bit crammed but after getting used to it and after kind of working around those issues it became really easy to use and I found it to be probably one of my favorite laptops that I've tested in a long time and probably one of the easiest laptops to use it just gives you so much more functionality and it's fantastic so I'd love to know what you think in the comments below. This was like my first impressions with the unit. I will have the full review very soon. Uh, so let me know what you think. Make sure to have a fantastic day. Subscribe if you haven't already. And peace out.